like, oh, it's my, oh no, it ain't coming out, but say, wait a minute now. I don't want y'all to see all that. Hey y'all, hey, it's Amir Renee. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the vlog. This is the beginning of a new vlog. I just finished recording a video. I'll leave the link right here to my birthday gift, which is my brand new, oh, isn't she freaking beautiful? YSL envelope bag. Oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful. So, just like I got a nice drone on my bag on. I said, let me go ahead on and throw a blazer on. <laughs> Today is Saturday. I did my hair Wednesday night and finished it Thursday morning because I knew my bag was going to come on Thursday. I was so happy and excited for it to come. So, in my mind, when I do certain videos, I know the whole look I want to achieve. So, I knew I wanted my hair to be done. I wanted to put my hair in a protective style. And I wanted some red nail polish to sit against the black bag. <laughs> <laughs> so while my period was a hate of my period came Thursday. Let me finish my hair because I already so started excited about getting my bag, but I couldn't even really look at it enough. That was just on fire from that. I did my hair the same exact way. I did my hair in my what is that sunflower video? I did like the sunflower braids, but I just used black hair this time. And for the ends, I did like what's it three jumbo braids and dipped it in the hot water so it could have that wavy effect love my hair came out beautiful so excited i finally got my birthday gift my birthday was in june and it's now september but i'm like i said in the video you'll see i'm not an impulsive buyer at all i recall for my coins i get my coins from my nine to five youtube don't pay me nothing really so all my money comes from my nine to five and i'm smart about how i spend my coin and i like to buy myself one luxury item for my birthday each year Last year, it was a new MacBook Pro. I brought that. And the year before that, the, like the two years before that, I brought purses. Louis Vuitton purses. You deserve, we all deserve whatever we want in this lifetime. You only get one life, so I mean, go for it if you can. But don't be stunting, going broke, and getting put out to try to keep up with people. That's something that you don't do, okay? Do it if you can. So we get ready to go to the store. I have another bag coming. I ordered a coach bag, so I guess... If it come today, I'll show y'all that. <sighs> All right, let's get ready to go to the store. I don't know if I'm going to change my clothes yeah. or not. My new purse, YSL. Baby, you getting worn everywhere I go now. We get ready to go to the market, and you going to the market with me. <laughs> as much money as you cost, you going everywhere with me. I think I'm going to change my shirt. Girl, I'm feeling real cute. You know, I don't think I'm going to take a picture. I'm feeling so cute right now. All right, y'all. I'm going to see y'all later. I was getting ready to leave to go to the store. Coach finally delivered my bag that I ordered. And let me tell y'all why I purchased this bag. <laughs> so I purchased this bag because at first, like I said, I was not going to... I think I said in this video. If not, then I'll just say it again. I was not going to buy the YSL bag right now because I do not have any YSL freestanding stores where I live at. We have Nordstrom's, but Nordstrom's only carry a certain amount of our products they get what they get pretty much you're not gonna see all the bags in store so they didn't have my bag that i wanted the envelope bag in stores so i was like you know what i cannot buy items that cost that much money without me physically seeing it feeling it making sure it's what i want so i always wanted a machino bucket bag but i could not find any and the ones they were selling last year on their website was the nylon one i wanted a leather one so this was going to be a cross in between the two bags that i wanted and this leather well i thought it reminded me of the ysl envelope bag so i said okay i get a two for one this is this is leather love the way leather smells so let me hold it up so this is the dempsey bag i wonder what did i say dempsey i'll leave the name of it right here i'll put it right here just in case you want to Go online and see how I look. This bag is so freaking cute. And it's way bigger than what it looked like online. I got it from the Coach Outlet website. Oh my gosh, this is what I wish that my YSL bag had. These little feet right here. It was 50% off too when I got it. So it was originally $378. Then they marked it down to 50% off. And then there was another 20% off. If you know me, you know I love me a good old sale. So I felt like I got away. I got away. They had this in an almond green color and a white color. So let me stand up. This is so big and cute. So this is the bag. Drawstring bag. 
with the coach. And I will carry it like this. This is how I intended on carrying it because they do have a long strap. The long strap is nylon. And I don't know how I feel about the nylon strap. Maybe if you want to dress down, I guess. Dress down, you could put the nylon strap on. It's not as bad as I thought. Okay, it's okay. Maybe because it's black. See, all I think all the other bags, it was black. And it was a white bag with a nylon strap. And it was a green bag with a nylon strap. And I didn't like how it looked. It looked like it didn't belong there. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. Show you. A little close-up. So and this is the bag up close. Freaking love it. I did not want the Coach Canvas bag. I wanted something black and simple that would go with everything. Yeah, and this is it. This is giving what I wanted to give. So my dilemma was, am I going to take this back? I was going to take it back since, like I said, I went ahead to purchase my dream birthday bag, which is the YSL bag. But now seeing this in person, it's a different style. So let me go grab that bag real quick. It's a different style, so I think I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to keep both. So here they go. They're different, so I should keep them both right. I probably already made my decision by the time y'all see this video, but let me know what do you think. Should I keep both bags or should I go ahead and return the coach bag? But you see what I'm saying? I thought this leather was similar to this, but it, it is fine. And it's giving me the bucket bag of the machino bag, you know, that I wanted. So, but I like them. It's an overdose of latte. It smells so freaking good. I mean, I said, I deserve it. I work hard. Why not? You only turned 21 once. <laughs> anyway. What y'all think? Oh, man. Let me look up this price of this last L so I can tell y'all real quick. Okay, with taxes and everything, YSL bag was $2,491. Yeah. $2,491 for this one. And this one was $160 dollars and 65 cents now she ain't going back i don't care what nobody says she ain't going back my question was should i take this back now that i got my dream bag or since they're two different styles i might as well keep both i think i might keep both because they serve two different purposes i was joking and saying that this bag gonna go with me everywhere i go and i'm not gonna take it everywhere but i will get my wear out of it my use and this bag right here is more i could see me wearing this more of an everyday bag now let me really go to the store. I'll talk to y'all later. I didn't want it to be real. These are real. It's pretty. Oh, it's broke. This little miscellaneous owl. It's my favorite owl in Aldi's. You find a whole bunch of little knick-knack all the ends that you never even thought about. This life is like the sweetest thing I've ever known. Back to go thriller Mike Jackson on these niggas. All I need... Oh, this is cute. Super good slid out. Package of the swishes. I did it overnight. It couldn't happen any quicker. Y'all know them. But fucking me either. So we stopped at Giants. So if you shop at Giants, you need to get wait a minute, what happened? You need to get the Giants app on your phone because you could be weekly now. It seems like it's every two weeks they'll give you a free item. You just gotta load it to your phone, your cart. And this week the free item is I don't know if it goes by like what you purchase to give you a certain free item or with everybody. But anyway, so this week is Almond Breeze Creamer. So we all the breeze. Don't tell me y'all gone. They don't have it, so I think that's good for three days, so I'll be back before it expires. I'm gonna try every day I want my free items. 
just getting back in the house. Like I said, we just grabbed a couple items from the store. We didn't do a big market haul this week. So let me just show you real quick. It ain't nothing major. Two cans of salmon. We're gonna make some salmon cakes this week. And with the salmon cakes, love string beans with my salmon cakes. He's gonna eat macaroni and cheese. He just got the Valhita macaroni and cheese. Then we're gonna have tuna one day. I'm gonna eat some chips with the tuna. Then I got three yogurts, my favorite yogurts, blueberry and black cherry. They never have black cherry. I think that's everybody's favorite, blue diamond. I wanted to try these. A couple of noodles. This is hot garlic chicken flavor. And this one is, well, teriyaki chicken. I don't eat couple of noodles too often. I know it's high sodium and everything, but every now and then, like for lunch, if I don't wanna cook or I wanna bring leftovers, I'll pop. I'm gonna use an oven at lunch and eat it. Well, pumpkin spice cupcakes. I was looking for the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte creamer. They're already free, but they didn't have it at the Giant Albutsi. Orange juice, some French toast sticks, and some waffles. These are my all time favorite, favorite candy bar. I love chocolate with some type of nuts. These got pecans in them, so I grabbed four of them. Should have got more, but. I need to calm down. Spinach. Bananas. Two loaves of Martin's butter bread. Lemon full sheets. And some Thai. Oh, we got some water. I already put the water up. A case of water. It won't let me be great. Show y'all. Did I show y'all my full? The full lift of my hair. I'll show y'all. If I didn't, let me sit y'all up right here. I had this around my waist at the store. My leg was a little see-through. It's my braids and they come down to my butt pretty much. So freaking cute. The last couple times I have done braids, I have cut it to like my mid back area, maybe like right here. So these are like super long and they're so cute. And I did one, where are you? One little blonde braid. But yeah, that's it for today. Back to strip lashes. Thank you. Hey y'all, today is Sunday, the next day, and what a difference a day make. I feel a hot mess. That's probably why I'm looking. I have a headache, and that's one of those one-sided headaches. When I get those, it's like the worst type of headache ever. Like right here is pounding. It's currently 3.40 and I'm just kind of getting out of bed. That's so trifling, but I took some Excedrin migraine. They usually knock out my headaches and I don't want to lay in the bed anymore. I need to straighten up my beauty room. I need to cook dinner. That's about it. My boyfriend like, lay down. You don't have nothing really to do today. Just, just take your time. But I want to be productive today. I don't want to just lay around. Girl, I got this... <laughs> I got this from um, Target. Just to wear around the house. I said, I feel like that little girl. What's the girl named JoJo? Big grown child. It's not too bad in here. Just straighten up. Do have some stuff on the floor. And over here, let me show y'all. So over here is my calendar. And I've been buying that calendar, bless you, for about two years. The same calendar. I think it's only six months on this calendar. And as you see, this is January, and I never <laughs> slipped it. All right, so. and this is old. Oh, I need to change that. What's today? September 11th. I cannot believe it's been 20 years since September 11th. So freaking sad. Oh, would you go to um, December? All right, I'll keep it then. I thought it was only six months. I'll keep that then and put this in my closet. So I had brought this one. It was right erase board because I was tired of wasting the paper and never flipping my calendar. Like I said, I had it since January and it is September. I never even flipped the freaking calendar. So I brought a dry erase board so I could just, you know, erase and write the new month down. Because I changed it, don't mean I'm gonna use it, but at least it's on the right month and date right now. My baby Nina, there he go. Poor little baby, baby boy. I need to change out my clothes rack too. At first, I had it color coordinated and all the same hangers. Now it's just like whatever. And summer is over, so I need to change everything out. 
I haven't worn this yet. This isn't in summer, but I haven't worn this since. No, I never wore this. I still got the tag on it. I still got the tag on it. Fifty dollars. Fuck it. I haven't worn this yet. I haven't worn this. I haven't worn this. It's been like two summers since I had this. Two, three summers. Still never wore this. I haven't worn that, girl. Yeah, I'm putting on some clothes this winter. I haven't worn that. I haven't worn this. I did wear that. Didn't wear that. Didn't wear these two. Didn't wear this one, girl. Didn't wear that. My mother gave me her birthday gift from Sephora. She doesn't wear makeup, so I'm surprised she even got this. So this is the NARS bronzer laguna and lipstick i was pretty laguna too light that might be too light for me to do anything with but i switched out so let me show y'all this little area over here so when i do my sit down tutorials you kind of can see right here when i'm doing videos so i had this tray sitting over here with these items on it i switched it out for this tray this tray was sitting over there in the corner and i had my perfumes on it but i since relocated all my perfumes downstairs in my bedroom so i could try to wear more often because if it's up here it's out of sight out of mind so now i don't want this to be like a little a little shrine and ours i don't even wear ours that often I just put them right there because they're just the mini sizes. And I thought it's so cute just to have a display of the mini. Well, this isn't mini, but these are. Little mini items. And these two, well, three, I reach for almost every time I do my makeup, I'll use these three. So I just wanted them out so I could grab them. Is that too much? That's one little cute little display in the background, but now it looks like it's just too much i still have to wipe off that show and then that one and then wipe off the show so i vacuum clean that clean that vacuum the floor oh i gotta clean this too yeah let me get off of here i did clean all of this i took the glass off cleaned under it wiped everything down wiped the mirror and now put everything back on top of it so i'm just making a mess again Everything is nice and clean. I'm going to show you a couple things that I switched up a little bit. So, this little tray was sitting over there. Just cleaned it off and put some of my earrings on here because there started to be too many earrings just sitting around. So, I just put a couple of my statement earrings right there. And I had this coaster sitting down there. I don't know why. So, I moved it right here so I could really use it. And over here... I decided to move my tray that had the NARS items. I'll show you where I put it at. This little glass tray, I put this here and put my main three items that I use. So these are the main three items I use when I do my makeup. The Lorac Tantalizer, e.l.f. Gel Pomade, and Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I had an extra one of these, and I decided to take my... Makeup book. I think this is one of my first makeup books I purchased when I really was taking makeup seriously. Making faces. Kevin Aquan. Love this freaking book. As you see, I got all my little tabs here. Girl, you couldn't tell me I wasn't going to go and be a, a big time makeup artist. And York for the celebrities. So, my trader was over here. I decided to put it over here. That's the only other thing I switched up. So I put all my NARS little items over here. I found some more NARS items I had. And then I put my Merit Beauty items over here only because it matched. It was gold, mostly gold and black. And I was supposed to do a review on Merit Beauty, but Merit Beauty people, if you're watching this, send me an email. I had the wrong shade in their foundation and I tried to record a video and I just look a hot mess. It's already minimalist makeup, so it looked like I was pale and had nothing on. I couldn't put that video out, so I sent y'all an email regarding that, and no one responds to me. And I have their brush. I guess I guess I could put their brush over here. So my whole room is pretty much, well, no, pretty much. It is clean. I cleaned every nook and cranny. I'm not feeling 100%, so that's why it took me so long. It took me a couple hours. 
Don't mind this Trader Joe's bag. I have something going on in there for y'all. I'll show y'all later. Baby. First of all, let me say, you can't accuse me of all the things you know that you are guilty of. And I see that it is easy for you. My question was, should I take this back now that I got my dream bag? Or since they're two different styles, I might as well keep both. Thank you for watching, as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.